Welcome to the podcast on what we call this a Friday with a Monday slash Sunday feel. Oh, no. It's a Saturday vibe for me. Right now is not Saturday. Yeah, no, I've got, I've I wouldn't got Sunday be five thirty on a Saturday. I wouldn't be, you know, dressed like doing Roger this. Federer like you are. Oh, maybe I would. This is my everyday kind of wear. Please don't wear a swoosh in my direct eye line again during the radio. Oh, well, like I just it. bought a bunch of these t-shirts, so you're going to be seeing a hell of a lot Why? of this swoosh. Just get a black because, t-shirt. What's wrong with no, you? No, do you know how hard it is? I don't want a skin tight t-shirt. I've got big hips mm-hmm. and a little waist, right? Yeah. I want a T-shirt that's long enough that covers my bum, so it needs to be big. Mm-hmm. But I don't want it like really big and boxy because otherwise I look huge. Just go to Spotlight and whip yourself up a couple. I'm gonna have to get the I'm gonna have to get the the arms on this altered so it's not such a the... big arm. I don't I know, like a I like big the boxy big arm. arm. It looks but, good. But I look with your crazy I look like a rugby player. <laughs> are you any good on the genome? You like? Are you, can you sew? I can sew. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that about you. Yeah, before I performed on the week my album came out, before I performed on Sunrise, my dress, mm. silver dress, yeah. um, had, you know, the one with the long sleeves, the long dress with the slits. Oh, babe, I know all your dresses. Yeah, I've got so, them all catalogued. So they, um, the slits came right up to, like, the crotch. <laughs> and I thought that was a bit much for morning yeah, TV. So the night before I was sure, sewing, the, really? sewing the, se- the, the slits oh down God, a little. You are a jack of all trades. You can actually, you can, people always, when people ask me about you, I'm like, she can do everything. <laughs> She's the sort of person you want to walk down a dark alley with. 100%. <laughs> you can't outlive. You, you'll feel safe. You'll feel safe. You'll, you'll 100% be safe with me in a dark alley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No ad libbing or um, baby talk. But, no, uh, but no, that, and no dirty talk either. I don't like any baby. of that. Okay. You are our cute little baby girl. If Enjoy I was in the same the room as you, I'd punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Is Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel? It's Ricky Lee, it's Tim Blackwell, it's Joel Creasy, it's the gang. Yo, yo! Yes, guilty as charged. Today I feel uh, Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. Take to the best I love. I think this could be the best show ever. This is the best day of my whole life! Hanging out with friends. Wow. We're the up and about party show. Turn it up, Tim! Oh, yeah. Uh, here we go. Oh, you bloody ripper! Now, guys, yes. what do you do if you spent last weekend at Victoria Beckham's 50th? Oh, 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 I know. You, I reckon you go to... Go to Albury with Albury! Albury! Yes, that's right. Mel C's in Australia. <laughs> Hi, Welcome, Mel. Sporty Spice. I've and come dressed Sporty Spice today. At Same. Beer Deluxe in Albury tonight. Melbourne tomorrow. Then Sydney next Saturday. This is for you. The Brian Adams. And by the way, we are fueling your Friday with this song thanks to Shell V Power. So jump on the phone if you want. 100 bucks suspended. Shell Cold Express. 13, 24, 10. Let's go. Mel- Melcy could be an Uber in an Uber right now listening. Oh, yeah. She's not in an Uber. She's got a driver for sure. Well, she might be listening to Nova. Here we go. Hi, Melcy. Yeah. Yeah. It just seems so love. Even food don't taste like good. Drinking, doing what it should. Drinking, doing what it should. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Things just feel so wrong. Baby, when you're gone. She's in Caloundra next Sunday. Yes, Mel Then C. Brisbane's Big Gay Day. Oh. Uh, next Sunday as well. Big I've done Gay that. Day's huge. Yeah, I performed at that. I'm sure you would have as well, Rick. Name in the title. I've actually never performed <laughs> at it. Oh, oh, no, that's not true. I have. I have, yeah. I have, I have, I have. I think we have together years ago. <laughs> She's in Melbourne tomorrow night, right? Yeah. Yes. The SB and then Puff Dup. <gasps> I'm going to go. i the SB. Oh, my gosh. Come on, guys. Sing it. Baby, when you're gone. Puff Dup. if you're listening, get me on the door, please. Hoppers? <laughs> <laughs> no, hoppers. Not hoppers. Oh, hoppers is what you have inside. Nah, in America. <laughs> Are you guys having a private conversation or? <laughs> yeah, we talk about ammo. <laughs> Hello, Russell. Hey, Russell. <laughs> Russell, yeah. what's going on? <laughs> you thought I rang, rang up for a Friday? How yeah, you do it, do it, do it. Oh, nicely yeah, done. Yeah, we good. A one hundred dollar Shell Coles Express gift card for you. Well done. While the music's going, let's do Alison as well. Alison, who's your favourite Spice Girl? Oh, nice. Oh, um, Ginger. Ginger. Yes, Matt, me too. Yeah. Mine was always sporty. She's the best singer. Yeah, she's amazing. Oh, she's see, amazing. I like I like Jerry. She really embodied the Spice Girls for she me. Sure Girl power. I like Posh before she ever married David Beckham. Ooh. Yeah, I love Posh. I love I've always loved that. Shoot, that shoot yeah, fits. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, baby, when you go. When you go. I'm in 
Okay, Blackers. Posh's maiden name. Pardon? Posh's maiden name. Oh, I know. Before she was Beckham. Victoria Hall? No, it's another B. I don't know. What? Victoria. Isn't it? No, it's not. Wasn't it another B? Oh. No, it's not. It's an A. Oh. (laughs) Anderson? (laughs) No. What is it? Adams. Sure. (laughs) Well, we all learned something there. (laughs) I love how sure you were. What did you think it was? Enjoy wow. if you are seeing her tonight in Albury and, as we said, uh, Melbourne tomorrow. Espy in for Poofdorf. It's a Friday. We've got so much happening on today's show, including that trip to the Gold Coast. We're giving that away. New Music Friday today. around the corner. Today. Oh, cool. I know. So let's kick off in style. Galantis. Love this song. David Guetta and Five Stars. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. So good. Galantis and David Guetta with Five Stars. A liar. I'm just going to say that was one of my New Music Friday picks. I know. I just know. Just going to say, just dropping that, that one pick. in there. That was a Rick's pick. <sighs> a lot of lighters it. being passed around yesterday during two up. A lot of smokers yesterday. Smoking really? is back, I think. I feel because, like, yeah. because vapes are, are illegal when so yeah. they should be. The but, douche flute. Yes. The douche mm-hmm. flute. But I feel like because I'm not a smoker and we, you know, people can't smoke in restaurants or in places anymore. I don't really see a lot of smokers. I saw pretty much I was one of the odd ones out yesterday, put it that way. Being a non-smoker. A non-smoker yep. and the beer my... garden playing two up. Oh, wow. Yeah, a few of my best mates are smokers, so I always end up in the smokers because you can have a good chat out there. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, it's always fun. The, people doing the drag bad shows and stuff. But people doing bad things are generally the more fun ones to hang out with, let's be honest. Well, I, I'm not upset by the smell of smoke either, so no, I don't same. mind hanging around with smokers. <laughs> what about, have you heard oh, about no, the, yeah, the smell? Have you heard that. about the um, the new nicotine pouch, though, the mouth pouch? No. Because I was talking about this yesterday. They're not mouth those things pouch. that you pop that up in. Gross. Yeah. So up in your, um... They're either called lip pillows or upper deckies. Yes, I've seen someone upper with... Upper deckies. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's basically just thing. nicotine, which is obviously the most highly addictive thing ever. Yeah. They reckon nicotine is more addictive than heroin. Wow. Really? Yes. Yeah, I worked with a producer that used to always have one in the top of his mouth, and I always was like, what is in your mouth? So there you go. Oh, I mean, good on him for trying. It's a he- healthy option, maybe. Well, I mean, no lung Nicorette, cancer. Nicorette, Nicorette, yeah, you cancer. can beat the cigarette. That's good. That's good. Hey, Joel, Jingle. can you explain to the good people of Australia what two up is, please? <laughs> Are we, is that what we're talking about? Because no. I well, learnt I, about it about four minutes ago. Well, let me let, let's let me. I just want to ask a question to see if anyone will call first, and then we'll talk about Anzac Day yesterday. Okay. Because okay. I just had this idea. I wanted to know what your last post was yesterday. <laughs> oh. Now it's not meant to be offensive. Yep. But, but it's meant to be. What was your last post on the gram yesterday? Yeah. I went to the um, <laughs> thirteen twenty four ten is the number. I, what was your last post yesterday? I went to the football concert on Wednesday night, and they did a beautiful um, Anzac tribute. It was great. I had the best time at the AFL, actually. So, did what you was your papped? last post yesterday? I did get papped. I did get papped. Your dream come true. <laughs> I got papped at the football. Oh my god, I was so happy. I really dressed up. You were really gagging for it. My and last asking po- for it. Yeah, I was gay. Oh, I mean, I, t- I, t- I said on national radio where I'd be at what time and what yeah. gate I was going through gate two. Um, <laughs> I, my last post was I went and saw last night. I've been busy. Last night I went and saw Cirque du Soleil. Was that your last post that on your last day? Post. Yep, that was my last post. There it is. Look. I'll tell you my last Aww. post. Luzia. It was beautiful. Go and see it. Oh, Luzia. Luzia. That's right. Mm. Has that been... ten, by the way, because all our callers today get 100 bucks to spend at Shell Coles Express. And it's one of your last chances to get in the running for first class and 50K, which we give away on Monday. I I'm going to have a really quiet weekend, so I'm ready for that. Giveaway. So you're ready. So you're not awkward on the phone. How is it going? <laughs> 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 um, my last post yes. um, was this. Oh my god! Oh okay, no! It's a quote. It's a quote. Oh, my favourite no, childhood memory is my back not hurting. I mean, seriously, oh. it's Ricky. so true. It is true. I did. I think I like that. My one. back hurts all the time. Can I'm I, old. This shows you what kind of day I had yesterday. I didn't post anything all day, so I don't have a last post for Anzac Day. Oh, disrespectful. Oh. It is disrespect. It's un-Australian, is what That's it is. That's disrespectful. <laughs> whatever that, whatever I just read from your phone is disrespectful. I have a sore back right now, but look at me smiling. Yes, um, I have a Voltaren, babe. Let's have a Voltaren to Kate. And a champagne. You'll be okay. <laughs> Hello, Kate. Hello, Kate. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kate. What was your last post yesterday? Oh, it's a really boring post on Insta about what I ate. Perfect. What Tell did us you what eat? Did I, loved, you eat? <laughs> I love seeing food posts. Oh, it was spaghetti. <laughs> yes, <laughs> did it was. you did you make it, Kate? <laughs> 
Oh, amazing. What's your, because yeah. Joel has a secret ingredient in his bolognese. What do oh, you, yeah, do you your, have a special bolognese? one in yours? Oh, it's got to be sugar. You put a little bit of sugar <gasps> to offset the tomato, oh. acid in the tomato. Girlfriend, <laughs> I do that. I do caramelise my onions before I put it in. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Adding girl, sugar to things so is so ridiculous. Oh, adding, oh, sugar, adding uh, a little bit of sugar when you're like, you no, know, I, put, I told some... you I put um, Worcestershire sauce in my um, spag bowl. That, yeah. that, that oh, could have sweetened it up a bit. Mine. I like a bit of sugar when I'm making like that a sesame soy it. chicken. We're talking about what can sweeten it without, A little you know, bit of sugar at the end. <laughs> just you're always walking around the office with a little lolly in your mouth. A little, Love a bit of sugar. A little, little candy man. A little skittle. Yeah. Um, yeah, so tell us about two um. <laughs> Two I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so two up is apparently a game played on Anzac Day. In, it's the only the, game you're allowed to. The it's the only time you're allowed to play it in without a permit. So basically, any pa- any this. pub has it going. It's so much fun. So, so is fun. it like a you get two up on somebody? It's just heads or tails, and then you put the, you put the five bucks or the ten bucks on your head if you want to bet heads or on your tail. And I went heads the whole day, and we won like a hundred and forty bucks. Amazing. More of a tail, man. <laughs> Amazing. And it started with five dollars. You know, I'm saying I'm not saying gambling's good or anything. No, but it can no. be a little but bit can, entertaining. It can, a little you bit. You can pass a whole day. It was hours. Bet with your head sport. not over it. Absolutely. Yeah, my literally. sports bet account gets a thrashing every weekend. <laughs> but I've but I've only thrashing. ever I've only ever put a hundred dollars in. And I just spend, we use That's whatever's what there. I haven't yeah. topped it up in years. A couple of $2 each way. You're yeah. Fine. You're oh my laughing. gosh. I never bet more than $5. Oh my gosh. That's for big spenders. That is true. I can't do that. I don't ever gamble. Okay. I mean, I do every time I get behind the wheel of a car. <laughs> <laughs> and behind the mic, am I right? <laughs> oh, please. Oh, and what I know I gamble. Mean? I know I gamble from the real house. Oh, wolf pup. wolf pup's wife. Yeah. Okay. Up next, let's do this because the roads everywhere, Melbourne and Sydney, which we can at least comment on firsthand, um, both being in each city, yes, it's is like quiet, ghost yeah. towns. Mm. So, Joel, I think you wanted to get people on to tell us about their sicky excuse. Yeah, if you're having today. a sick day, yeah, and you can be anonymous and you can even put on a voice. Oh, yes. All right. Yeah. And Definitely put on a voice, please. I'm not at work. <laughs> it gives you a chance to potentially win first class of 50K. I love mm. this song! And a hundred bucks, Shell Coles Express gift card, because that's what we do on Fridays. Still All our callers. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Now, don't say anything yet, but in Glossies, if you're an Eminem fan, there's something big that you might want to tune in for. Okay. Or just I like, the green, I like the green Eminem. Don't do that. Don't do it. Um, yes, Eminem news coming up very soon here on Nova. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Now, a lot of people around this joint, especially, I know for a fact put today off. So that means basically end of play Wednesday, you're not here till Monday. That's taking oh, the P-I-S-S yeah. as far as I'm concerned. I think concerned. it's quite clever. I think I did <laughs> a stat saying honest, like the other day, something like 20% or 25% of Australia are planning mm. on 40% or 4%. I don't know. There's a percent involved, <laughs> etc., cetera. And, um, and that percent is how many people are taking today off. But I yeah. thought 4 million Australians. Good, like, what? Th- th- that's why I thought we should have people call through and they don't have to use their real names. Or like, But like you go, yeah, I'm not at work today. You've taken the day off doing your hair today. You've come as Nick Carter today um, with your yeah, centre part. What's I've going on? Backstreet Boys. You're trying to take more vision. work. Yeah, I'm, really? trying, I'm trying looks out for Eurovision. Do you like this? I um, prefer your other look. Yeah, I got a, a bit, it took my breath away. A bit. You look very cute. I do like it when it's down like that on your face, not when it's McDonald's thing. If okay. you know what I mean. Well, I'll get it more like down on my face. Yeah, because I'm sexy. looking for that Scandinavian look when oh, I'm over there. Super Scandy. Yeah. What if you What if you fringed it and pushed it all to one side towards your ears? <laughs> what? Like like a bee bar. See how you've got the middle part. If you push yeah, it all to okay. one side, oh my god, stop! No, 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 you look. <laughs> no, 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 that's bad. that's good. I like that. You like that? Yeah, I like, like that. How much? There's, do you like se- it? there's something about the centre part how for much a do man. You like? I don't think a centre part for a man. Show us again, pulling it across. No, see that looks like you're trying to cover up a okay, bald okay, spot. Okay. Like yeah, a receding I'm hairline. If oh, no, now guys that do that, center part. But center part for a man, center part for a lady, hot. Okay. Center part for a man, like like I'll, I'll put you on a watch list. <laughs> yeah, no, like, like you're not allowed around. You're not allowed near give, primary schools and stuff. Yeah, it does kind of give list vibes yes. a little bit when it's well, like happy. no, no, no. See, Joel, when it's like that, McDonald's thing. What does that mean? Oh, the big M. Like big, oh, I got it now. Yeah, when arches. it's giving the big M's, when it's a bit more flat on your face, it's it looks like you you're less on a list. I don't care if I don't need to. Go, I can't go th- near a primary school. I can't stand kids, so I'm fine with that. <laughs> they never ask you how your day's going. Um, you got to do all the chit chat with kids. <laughs> ne- nothing back from them. Re sick days. Where I where Sorry, I'm confused here. A rant there. Where I'm confused is everyone complaining about cost of living and stuff like that. Yet love. 
loves sticking it to the man oh, <laughs> who's, yeah. who's paying you. Yeah. Sticking it to the man. <laughs> yeah. The guy that's paying well, you. Well, they just say, you know, oh, it costs him... so much at the moment, but I'm not going to, I'm I'm not going to turn it to work as, as often as possible. Well, what's the saying? You give them an inch, they'll take a, they'll oh, run a mile or take a mile or whatever workers. the hell it is. Hey, oh, Steph, no. uh, that is your real there. name. <laughs> uh, hello, Steph. What was your deal today? Um, I said that I needed to take my cat to the vet. That makes me sick. Oh, is your cat actually okay, though? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. You yeah. didn't take it to the vet, though, did you, Do you even have a cat? Dirty, dirty, dirty dog. <laughs> Do you even have a cat, Steph? <laughs> I don't even have a cat. No. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> A <laughs> hundred bucks to spend at Shell Coles Express. And also, you're so in the running I. for First Class 50K Monday. Hello, Brennan. Brennan. Oh, Brennan. So like in like Step Brothers. Name. Like in Step Brothers. That's right. But Brennan's Brennan. like a last name, isn't it? It is like Step Brothers. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brennan. Uh, uh, Brennan. <laughs> Can you also, do you have a beautiful singing voice also, like Will Ferrell in, in John Step C. Brothers? John C. Riley. I don't, but I do like playing the drums while watching Cops. So, okay. You know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, no, I just kept it short and sweet, saying that I'm um, I'm off, won't be in today, and went down to the Hot Springs down in uh, down at Peninsula for the day. I love it. Not even an excuse. Yeah. Just, I'm just having a day off, point. bro. Yeah, deal with it. Good on you, Brennan. Uh, that's, that's it. Cheers, John. <laughs> All right, see you, mate. Bye, Cheers, bro. bro. <laughs> see you, mate. Bye. <laughs> No lung Nicorette, cancer. Nicorette, Nicorette, yeah, just you cancer. can beat the cigarette. Ricky Lee, oh, Tim and Joel, driving good. you home on Nova. People will be familiar with this track. Christy Lee Peters, a.k.a. KLP. Yes. Oh, this just mate, takes me back to my club rat days. Well, she's a bit of a club rat. Love it. Self-confessed, um, Sydney girl. She's jack of all trades. People might know her from presenting House Party on Triple J oh. for years and years and years. Can I do my Triple J impression for you? Yeah, go. go. do it. Hey, I'm Joel. You're listening to Triple J. That was the latest no. one from the GMAs. So, <laughs> you having a good day? If you're having a good day, call in. Oh. Yeah. I like it how they ask for people to text in all the time and everyone's always on a road trip. Yeah. Even though it's like day. Tuesday morning at 10. I'm just <laughs> heading back from Albury. Ah. Yeah. Um, anyway, how's this? The latest one. This might pique your interest. She's on my podcast uh, out today, but I found something out about her. One yeah. of our favourite ads... Her dad wrote <gasps> this ad, right? Get out. No. But wait. This is her connection to it. Okay, so, well, it's my brother that did the voice. And <gasps> me, that's, they <gasps> fix the car. Are you serious? That's 13, 13, 32. <laughs> yeah, my dad wrote it. Uh, it's not us in the visuals. That's like an actor. But we yes. did the vocals. So this is her brother. That's 13, 30, 32. And then... This that is her. Voice. They'll fix the car. <laughs> How iconic. I that's, love that. That, that song should be turned into an entire musical. I do 100%. love it. Keep it in the family. Her new single, Never Let Me Down, is out now. And so is the podcast. Download it. It's introducing with KLP. And next, the tourist attraction that was a ba bound. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Oh, yes. A Friday afternoon. Some would say it's just another day of their long weekend. Why not? I oh, know, it feels like Sunday. It, it does feel like, like Monday to me. To me. Oh. No, I feel like Monday. I feel like I've had my Sunday. Oh, you've and now I'm back into work. Off? Oh, yeah. Checking the emails. Ready to go. Are you going to be all right tomorrow when there's no work? I'll come in. Okay. Yeah, I'll come, come in. in. And Sunday? Yeah, yeah I'm going to produce Jermaine Shift. Two oh. or six. Just, we'll just have a Sunday. I love a Sunday. A Sunday I've on spoken Sunday. spoken about ice cream a lot oh, this gosh. week. You have spoken about ice cream a lot this week. You're going to turn into an ice cream soon. Yeah, I know if you are what you do eat, you know, I'd be do you know a, a saw... caramel ego magnum. <laughs> You'd be a golden gay time. Oh, an ego magnum, <laughs> yum. yum. I saw um, these people had their wedding, Joel, and instead of having cake, which is what my craving is this week, yeah. they just got two giant, um, like, huge tubs of, of their favourite ice cream. And oh, they get out. And they just into that. Aren't they quirky? So cool, that's isn't it? That's not going to last, that wedding, that, cap, that marriage. <laughs> um, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> two no, people that love ice cream. So like people yeah. with, like, candy stations at their wedding. Like, it's not no. a 13th birthday. True. Oh, no, I love a candy station. Like, when we can... We feel a little bag on your way out. Oh, that's a bit fun. At a wedding for yeah, grown ups. Absolutely. For sure. <laughs> a wedding when no kids are allowed. A candy Adults station. Walking away too. walking away with a bag of Skittles. Are you serious? Oh, what do you want to walk away I with? I want a bombonieri. A little oh. uh, you know, a little uh, oh, photo little... frame or a candle a candle holder. Oh, see, why should I be giving you a gift for coming to my wedding? That's I know. What right. I think. It's a tradition. It's so You'll drink dumb. the bar dry at my wedding. It's I'm so nervous. Dumb. That, that's the yeah. gift, the amount that at the alcohol costs that everyone drank. <laughs> well don't worry, I voted no, so you wouldn't have to get married, but now you did. <laughs> <laughs> and I lost half an hour of material. 
material. That I've day, certainly so got egg on my much. face. <laughs> All these gay weddings have to go. Do, even though I didn't want any of it. That's oh, not egg on your that's face. That's not Tim. egg. Gay weddings are so good. <laughs> egg tastes like pineapple, right? We do such good. We do asparagus? such a good job. Is that asparagus and pineapple <laughs> tasting egg. <laughs> have you been to a gay wedding yet? Yeah, this is this is this is me at the gay wedding. Oh, sure, stop! Have you actually been to a gay wedding yet? Probably. I can't remember. I've been to heaps so before good. they were even legal. I love oh, it. I know, yeah. Oh, wow. You would have said, oh, you're so cool. She's an icon. She's Excuse a guy. Oh, you went to so many before they were legal. I was singing people down the aisle. Oh, I was like, I had I all these the parties. Party during, I, had, I had heaps of parties during Prohibition. Yeah, you are that old. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Rick. What noise was that? What, what, what was that? Was that a laugh? I'm getting I'm into like my little, commentary Yeah, that's mode. his you little ripper voice. You little ripper. I'm getting ready for Eurovision. <laughs> okay. Um, 132410, give us a call. Uh, what was the tourist attraction that was a bit of a... B- 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 a bit of a carol bomb. Yeah, 132410, <laughs> the tourist attraction... That was uh, the most famous one I think we all agree on is the Mona Lisa. Oh, she's just... Oh, she's small. She's little and underwhelming. She's yeah. tiny. She's tiny. Yeah. Every, every, to everything, like, big tourist attraction I go to always has, is covered in scaffolding. Like, like every, like, the Big Ben covered in scaffolding. Notre Dame, obviously, for, for obvious reasons, that was covered in scaffolding. Oh, yeah. But, um, but, like, that one under but the like, um, uh, the, the, the Flatiron <laughs> Building covered in scaffolding. Uh, uh, Empire State Building I, covered in scaffolding. I went to one. Scaffolding. Is it the Acropolis in Greece? In yeah. Athens? Yeah. Covered, covered in, in scaffolding. I what? know. I would it's my like luck. To, I've, I've decided if I knew anything about the building industry that I'd love to get into scaffolding because it's my kind of building. <laughs> you go, you set it up, and then you just leave, and then you yeah. just charge them by the day <laughs> yeah. to have it set up. You should just buy some and start like loaning it out. So it's like Tim scaffolding. Well, like yeah. good businesses are, are, are providing something that's never going to run out. People are always going to need scaffolding because something's always going to be built. Rubbish mm. is a big. It's like the richest man in China, bottled water. There you go. See? Boom. Light it up. There Party time. <laughs> well, <laughs> Boom. the Moulin Rouge has suffered a bit of this, and it's not scaffolding involved. But, you know, and, and now people get, I think, are starting getting a bit confused between the musical, which is nothing like the actual Moulin Rouge. No, it's in, so different. <laughs> they get their boozies out there. Um, I went to the real Moulin Rouge. Yes, I did too when I was 12. It was real. Oh, that's oh. sexy for a 12 year old. Yeah. It's like going to Crazy Horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, yeah, the gentleman's club. Steam at Rhino. Um, so what has happened to the Moulin Rouge, the actual Moulin Rouge in Gay Paris, um, one of the iconic sails of the windmill has fallen off and crashed oh, no. to the ground. Um, it fell down overnight and no one actually knows the reason for the accident. But bit top Moulin, heavy. Yeah, a bit top heavy. It's also taken mm. out the M and the O and the U. It's now just Lynn's Rouge. But oh. Mul- guess this is the name of Moulin Rouge's director. <laughs> Lynn Manuel Miranda's Rouge. Oh, I know. I get it. Hamilton was fine for, <laughs> one, for one, once. No, um, the director of Moulin Rouge, Jean Victor Clarico, said there was no sound of Perfectly foul said. play <laughs> and that it was most likely a technical problem. Oh. It's been there for 135 so, years. It looks so sad, just there all alone, just like a weird little lighthouse looking yeah, thing. I know. It's like the Shakespeare know. Theatre in London. He have you ever been there? Oh, the Globe. Yes. Yes. I, I have, love <gasps> seeing a little uh, little thing at the Shakespeare. I went and saw a friend in a show at the Globe and uh, he didn't tell me that it goes for about seven hours and you sit on benches the yeah, whole time. Yeah, because it's meant and to be the director. Oh. Oh, yeah. So I couldn't really like check my phone or anything. No. You could have had a toilet emergency like you did that time at Flinders Street Station. Oh, yeah, or the time when I went to see Kristen Chenoweth and the, when she started singing Popular, my boyfriend at the time had um, diarrhoea. No, not during yeah. Popular. During Popular. That's the only reason I was there. There's something about those British theatres, though, like the West End and stuff like that. Like, I get this is how the seats were in, like, 1730. Yeah, but it's But not just, like, that just a nicer seat now, please. No, because here's, here's the thing. People get too comfortable. I was not com- when, I to, comfortable. when I went to 42nd Street, the musical, the tap dancing... Schmozzle in the West End of London. <laughs> and I was trapped. It was a matinee. I was trapped. Yeah, you're probably paying attention. Though. I was, you don't want no, to be too comfortable. I, I realised, like oh. I was when I went and saw, um, uh, what is it called, Lord of the Rings. I was so bored. I was in pain. You want to be lounging like you're I in gold class. I was painfully class. bored by yeah. everything. But sitting up. But you don't want people. You don't want to feel. You don't want people to feel like they're in their lounge room, so they don't interact. Certainly did not. Certainly did not. Um, mm. There you go. They've, now I they've interact been, a lot they? from my lounge room. Do you? You know, like watching yelling at TV shows. Well, like, you watch those sort of shows that require a bit of yelling. Yeah. Yeah, you mm. give that kind of energy. Like yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy that movies. laying down with my legs open, just being like, eh! like <laughs> me on Gogglebox would be spreading. amazing. Yeah. I'll make your legs open. <laughs> well, just it's got to be. Legs no, you just like laying like this. Oh, is that I'm why you've not... got stirrups in your lounge room? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why they were there. I, I, just I wonder stirrups. why you're living in a basement. I don't mean like weirdly sitting with 
in my leg. You and that's sex swing. That's sex swing. It all makes sense now. <laughs> hey, Debbie, yeah. real quick, what tourist attraction for you was a bit of a... <laughs> ba -bum. For us, it was Stonehenge. Stonehenge? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Just why? Just... My hubby, we got there and my hubby looked at it and went, okay. Yeah. It's a bit smaller cool. than I thought. It's really just a lump of big rocks in a paddock, oh, isn't no. it? Yeah. You know, and Debbie, a... I drive past, you drive past it on the way to Glastonbury. And so I've seen I've seen Stonehenge about 50 times, but just as the, the maxi taxis just got whizzed past it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, and there's Stonehenge. a replica it's of it in blur. WA. There's a replica in Esperance oh. in WA. And there's a dome. Dome Cafe. Isn't there a dome oh, near? Yeah, the opposite. Um, <laughs> no. Isn't there oh, a dome no. near the one in Perth? Esperance? <laughs> Isn't there? Oh, I'm there's a dome near that. everything in Perth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is Dasha. This is Austin. Hey. And next we'll do a new music Friday for you. A few tunes to listen to over the weekend. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. It's time for new music Friday, dude. Yes, yes bitch. And guess who's come to the plate? Joel Creasy. I know. I thought I'm, I normally sort of take a back seat in new music Fridays, but I... It's two weeks away from Eurovision. Um, I've got two bangers for you. Um, and I mentioned before you get into them, we have a new Music Friday playlist on Spotify. Yes, and it's that all our it's all our favourites that come out every Friday that are going into one playlist. And that we're adding to, right? We're not deleting them all. No, and we're going to keep four them all new in songs there. In. Thanks, Jermaine, because that's what a playlist is. <laughs> Thanks, J Thanks I think Jay. In the beginning when we started doing this, I think our, our lovely friend Jermaine... Um, thought that just the songs that we were bringing every Friday go in the playlist. No, that's not how I play this work because it doesn't cost anything. It's not like a room where you have to like, <laughs> before you put something new in, you have to take it out. It's like an He's escape room. He's fixed it though. Look at that. All of the songs that we've chosen are in there. Finally. It's a good playlist. he was told last It's all week. of our favourites. I know. Why are you talking to me like that? I know I what it is. we were ripping through this. I don't know. <laughs> Why are you okay. wearing a purple shirt? It's, it's lilac. lilac. It's yelling at me. It's purple. It's lilac. What, now, what is lilac an iteration of? Pink. Purple. It's in the purple family. Iteration. It's yeah, I think it's in the purple family. Your own iteration. Your, your oh my god, both of you shut up. <laughs> Mun Makale is a, a, a Australia's song at Lecture Fields. We've heard that. So um, the currently the number one um, uh, kind of uh, betting odds um, for Eurovision is the Code by Nemo, and they're representing Switzerland. Ooh. <laughs> Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. Um, but my favourite is, and they're actually doing quite well in the betting odds, uh, Croatia. They're a group called Baby Lasagna, and their <laughs> song is called name. Rim Tim Taggy Dim. I'm Have sorry. A oh, hang on, hang on. I'm sorry, what? What, did it, what are you doing to Tim? Rim, Rim Tim. Tim Taggy Dim. Rim I'm feeling Tim. a bit uncomfortable playing this. Dag. Dag. <laughs> I like this. It's a bit of fun. It's very Eurovision. It's so Eurovision. And which I don't normally go for the very Eurovision song. Like last year I was all Team Lorraine for Tattoo, but mm. I like this. When it's, is oh, it? When cool. does it kick off for everybody at home, John? Uh, I leave next Saturday. So um, yeah, when, semi -final, when does it kick off? <laughs> semi <laughs> semi final one, which Australia is competing in, is on uh, Tuesday, the 7th of May. Semi final yep. two yes. is awesome. the 9th of May. And yep. then the grand final, which we're hoping Australia uh, uh, qualifies for, is on Saturday, the 11th. Awesome. Now, let's go to you, Ricky Lee, yes. for New Music Friday. Um, what have you got for us? So, New Music Friday, it's my girl. She's She released a new song yesterday. It's out now. You can go. On, get it, buy it, stream it, listen to it. She's also announced her brand new album. Um, the song is called Loving Me Lover. She's it's announced so her third album, Sunday Sadness, comes out on August 16. She said it is, she said the album is the best she's ever done and it's sick. And I'm lucky enough to have heard a fair few of the songs on the album and I can kind of back that up. It's a great album. And also, maybe like you just it. say it's Amy Shark because you haven't said that yet. Oh, it's Amy Shark. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I always like to throw in the artist. And fun fact. <laughs> it's Amy Shark. It's Amy Shark. No, and the, the album cover she actually shot hung over after a night at, at mine. <laughs> that, that wasn't the night I was there. The spaghetti, yeah. The spaghetti, the spaghetti night. The spaghetti shot, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, she said, I'm, I really have to leave well, now because I'm shooting my album cover in, in the, she, tomorrow. And I was like, oh, no, In fairness, sorry. she's on the Great Northerns, which is not full strength, so she's fine. Yeah, but she's oh. teeny tiny. I know. It's her, like a ton of bricks. I'm like this us, girl. She looks at us sometimes like, what's that? <laughs> well, we're sinking drinks. <laughs> With three parked. Um, what oh, else you got? So cool. She's very cool. Um, I also have, I love this. I love a throwback. I love kind of a, a remake of an, an old classic. So this is Tina Turgeon. Tina Turgeon. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay? Tina Turner. 
Tina Turgeon? What kind of version of Turgeon is this? I can't Disco Inferno. I love it. Oh, I love Disco Inferno. Did Marsha Hines cover this song? Yes. So this is a re-release of Tina Turner's album, What's Love Got To Do With It, celebrating its 30th anniversary, and this is going straight to my cardio playlist. Do you have another? Or they, they, yeah, can yeah, I? Yeah, there yeah. is uh, well, Beyonce's new album, Cowboy Carter, came out a few weeks ago. It's amazing. And today it was announced, like a couple of hours ago, that the next single after Texas Hold'em is Two Most Wanted, and it's a collaboration with Miley Cyrus. There's an interpolation. And is an interpol- features an interpolation of Landslide. Fleetwood Mac, and who else? Them. The chicks. Yes. <gasps> the chicks. I love the Remember chicks. The chicks? Okay, I got two for you. I got okay. two. I'm keeping it local. Haley Mary from uh, beautiful, beautiful Haley Mary. Um, from why can't I remember the name of the, the Jezebels, one of my favourite Australian bands? Yeah. Um, oh. Wrote this song with her husband Johnny Took from the DMAs. Oh. This is the best husband wife duo oh since my ABBA. Gosh. This is oh, one wow. last drag. <laughs> And then finally, you know the band Justice, famous for this song? Justice Crew. I thought you were going to say Justice Crew too. Yeah. <laughs> you know this? Yeah, I, know, yeah. I definitely know this. This is them teaming up with Tame Impala <gasps> for Never oh Ender. God, this, I know Tame Impala. Have a listen to this as we leave you for New Music Friday. Check out our playlist on Spotify. Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Oh, sing it, Coldplay. Oh, yes. What a collaboration. I just love it. I just love it. I love it. On screen. On screen. On screen. I get a chance to be in a band like that and collaborate with BTS. I love BTS. I know, right? Remember the BTS K-pop? meal? I love oh, Coldplay. my God. You went, you went nuts. Well, what what, what, why don't you get your friends and your contacts at Macca's to make the, the Cajun sauce, the dipping sauce, more hey. of a... More of a Buddy. permanent menu thing. Oh, was that a BTS limited edition situation? I got nuggets in here just about every day, just so I could dip them. Oh. Blackers, I think I've done enough for you this week. I can work on the BTS sauce for you next. Oh week. yeah, you better be <laughs> nice to your friend Joel. You've done very well with admin for me this week. I have. Been, I've been your PA this week, and I've quite enjoyed it to be honest. I know you're very good at it. Maybe you should be more BTS. <laughs> oh my god! Front facing and How BTS. No, no, Front yeah. facing and BTS. No, I would like to. I think you would actually. I think pre- you'd like to be someone who organises people's fame lives. Get to, the pressures of fame get to me. That's why that song "Easy on Me" by Adele really hits a hits a nerve. With Never me. say that out loud. The pressures um, of fame are hard. Being the Australian yeah, spotlight so is tricky, and I'm by spotlight I mean a lamp. <laughs> I, really I found hard, out today, speaking job? of showbiz, why they say chookers. Do you know that? I actually don't know, but I say it probably 15 times I don't a day. I like chookers. Is that wrong? I People hate, saying I hate chookers. It oh, it's great. It's free theatre. It's free theatre. I don't like it at all. No, break a leg's bad luck. Okay. No, but isn't it good luck to Why say break a leg? Why do they say chookers? They say chookers because apparently after, I think it's after the opening night of theatre shows, back in like, I'm talking Shakespeare days, mm. they get a chook. They actually get a chicken and they sit around and eat the chook. Oh, that's nice. A little bachelor's don't hand Don't look back. at me like that. It's me providing content. But I'm just trying to. I'm. I'm trying it's to. Like pic- I've done something wrong. No, sorry. I'm trying to picture that. <laughs> well, we'll While find they out. They sit if that's around real. at the end of the Don't show. Don't ask me questions it. about it. I wasn't there. Hey, you're there. bringing this content to the bloody table. First glossy, please. What's happening here? Chookers. Well, with M- it was Eminem. With M&M. Eminem flipping the bird. Um, Mr. Rude. What's happened? Is he releasing new music? He's announced that his twelfth studio album, "The Death of Slim Shady," will be coming this winter. <gasps> the Death of Slim Shady. And he dropped a thirty-second teaser. During the NFL draft broadcast, he's 12 seconds of that 30 seconds because 30 seconds <gasps> is too long. The same rude lyrics and controversial antics may have ultimately led to his demise. So who killed Slim Shady? Join me as we recreate the events that led to the murder of Slim Shady. Massive. I'm Remember so Kathy excited. Griffin was in the Slim Shady video clip? Oh, yeah. She played the right. nurse. Kathy Griffin was also in Pulp Fiction. I love Kathy Griffin that? so much. Yes. My Life in the D-List is on 30. one of the streaming platforms now. It turned 30 um, this year, 10 years younger than you. <laughs> I the next am not place. 40. Well, you, did, you did your big thing with me before. I was born in 1985. Oh, yeah. I was born in 1985. Oh, I still have is... one more birthday left in my 30s. Thank you very much. Okay. This so is Jennifer handsome. Aniston. Yes. What's that? Girlfriend's <laughs> yeah. favourite actress. Oh, is this um, about uh, Jake Gyllenhaal? 
No, this is about and a uh, movie that she's producing. Okay. Oh, isn't it going? Is it going well? A remake of the movie, <laughs> Nine to Five. <laughs> oh, that, well, I'm sure that's going well. That's a popular movie. That's Jennifer Aniston. All right. Um, unfortunately, this is the Pitbull version to take us to the news. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you soon with uh, the last chance with the truth of the Gold Coast. Tim and Joel. I don't know, gentlemen. It's Friday. It's Friday. On Nova. Shall we take a dip? Oh, yeah. Let's ease into the jacuzzi. Just to oh, finish the yeah. week, shall we? I think there's a lot of people around the country who would have been in the jacuzzi since midday because they've oh, chucked yeah. the sickie. Or since be Wednesday night. Since Wednesday night. Oh, hell. they'll be pruny. Oh, yeah. Mm. I remember I had a cigar in the jacuzzi once and vomited straight away. And about five oh, yeah. people. Five people. <laughs> I've never seen anything evacuated so quick. Also, who do you think you are? Hugh no, Hefner? I was in Having Perth. a cigar yeah, in a jacuzzi? A no, this is the thing. I don't smoke and I can't smoke. I'm on record. You are my, smoking. Though. My friend, thank you. My friend in Perth, Chris, <laughs> thinks he is that guy. So we're drinking oh. verb and smoking cigars. Verb. And oh. <laughs> verb. <laughs> I know. Anyway, this was like 20 years ago. Hey, um, guys, we're about to get into Taylor Swift. Yep. Um, any idea of the number one album in the Australian ARIA charts this year? Oh, a dead poet this society. Week. Sorry, this week. It's Tortured sh- Poets Department. Of course, it's going to be Taylor. Yeah. Uh, it becomes the big, al- biggest album debut since 2015. On the was Australian ARIA charts or whatever. just? I'm assuming ARIA charts. Wow. The first artist to ever hold one to ten spot on the charts, <laughs> number one through ten. I'll she occupies 29 of the 50 songs on the RA single charts. Nuts. Uh, that is 10, Guilty of Sin, 9, Who's Afraid of Little Old Me, 8, the whole Florida, list, right through to <laughs> Fortnite by Post Malone and Taylor Swift. She should be real chuffed about that. Yeah. She, oh, she, she, if anyone deserves a jacuzzi, it's Taylor. Oh, yeah. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Oh. You knew I was going to do that. <laughs> I knew you said, blah, 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 blah. I knew you were going to do it. I knew you were trouble when you walked in, you got behind that panel. Yeah, in your purple T-shirt. Oh, yes, she occupies one through ten on the ARIA charts. Huge. All from the album. I found out um, yesterday why Florida is such a big part of this album. In the lyrics to Fortnite, there's a song about Florida as well. Yeah. It's the state she performed first when she was free. Oh, from, from the relationship. From the big relationship. When, oh. when, it, when they've broken up. Running theme, you know. Uh huh. So I'm like, does she like Florida all of a sudden? So she likes going there. Go Gators and all that stuff. No, mm. I don't think so. I don't think she likes going there. It was just, you know, a moment in time, a snapshot in time. Yes. Tay Tay. The oh. moment in time. Snapshot I like in that. time. I like that. Um, let's do it. Let's talk all things to well, I don't know why we didn't continue our sour cream chat that we we're having off air. That, that was... was the most snooze first chat, no offence. I was teaching you how to make sour cream. Well, well, no, so hey, you, you can just whoa, whoa, buy sour whoa, whoa, cream. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you hear someone ask you how no, do we make sour cream? We were sitting no. here talking just about life and fun places and bars that we can go to. And yeah, then which you, you came with a fun fact about. Sour no. cream. I said to Jack last <laughs> night, I had a very funny observation. The sour cream in our fridge was off. And I was like, how does sour cream go off? It's already sour. And we had a bit of a laugh. Anyway, then someone today said to me, if you need sour cream, just get regular cream and put some lemon in it. Was it Gomez that cream. said that to you? It wasn't Gomez. It was Walt's. My I said it trainer. on text. You need to start drinking again because your life <laughs> is becoming... Heinously oh, boring. Wonderful. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna go home and I'm make not some saying adult Lego. You need drinking to Aww. help, but it, it certainly would help you. Okay. With your stories. We're sitting here planning drinks that we're gonna drink and places we're gonna go, and you're talking about sour cream and adult Lego. Mm-hmm. Well, I reckon there's. I reckon some people might have driven off the road with that little s- s- fact that I've just given them. They might have I, fallen asleep. I didn't know that. No, we're just in. They drove off the road <laughs> through sheer boredom. Thank you very much for all your calls. Well, I mean, there's going to be one person in Australia tonight that's like, oh, bugger, I'm making tacos, but I don't have sour cream, but I do have cream and I do have lemon. And I heard that funny gay man on the radio say, if you put a bit of lemon in the funny cream, you got sour, cr- sour cream. I made the saddest tacos last night. You're going to hate me for this. Because there was with, no tacos. What's wrong with I'm my co-hosts? Trying, no, because I'm not cool drinking at the co-hosts. moment either. 
And you know, I'm being I'm I'm being good. I'm I've, I've, I'm a couple of weeks post my surgery. Oh yes. So I'm trying to be good and take, look after myself. Post op. Oh, you know, that's post-op. what post op means. Posty. Um, you post so, mine up. So I, I'm trying to you know cut out any unnecessary things that I've okay. all, which I've been exclusively eating for the last kind of three or four weeks. Well, can I tell you? So I had tacos anecdotes. that are made of lettuce. Oh my oh, god! Oh, I, I had lettuce. Right I had lettuce burgers. tacos. Yeah. I know, and I ate it, and I took a, the, my first bite out of the first one, and I I could see you crying a, a big tear. And what did you just say? You had lettuce burgers. What's wrong with you, sir? Lettuce burgers are really popular. They keep popping up on my naked algorithm. burgers, nude burgers. Yeah, yeah nude burgers. Oh, sexy. Well, I want to talk about my cocktails. <laughs> yeah, it's what we're trying to do here. Over to you, bro. Um, and we're <laughs> asking the question. I like this. What have you been doing wrong the whole time? Thirteen, twenty, four, ten. Now, let me just say this: the last ditch push. If you would like to win first class of 50K, either yes. go to where? Where could you go? You can go to Paris. Go to Paris. Go to New York. Uh, or London. New York's um, going to win. It probably will. First class in 50K. We'll see Seems about like everyone wants to go to New York. Yeah. It's the longest flight. It's the most time spent in first class. 13, 24, 10. Jump on and tell us what you've been doing all wrong the whole time. And also we'll throw in a $100 Shell Coles Express Gift card thanks to our friends at Shell V Power, 13, 24, 10. Yes. Now, you guys know I'm a champagne girl, (laughs) and it does get a little bit annoying that I only drink champagne. So I've been trying to find a cocktail that I can drink that gives the champagne a break. So I'm not that douchebag that just drinks champagne everywhere. What's your little order, though, that you've been doing? I like a Charlie Chaplin. A new one that I've been having is gin with... Soda water and a splash of Sprite with and some cucumber. Yeah, and everyone That's normally laughs at you except that one place we went to. Yes, well, you can laugh at me because I'm the one drinking it and I'm the one paying the bill. So yeah, but you've just shush asked up. if they've got Sprite at a nice restaurant. No, I didn't ask if they have Sprite. I said, can you make me a drink, a weird drink? So this is in Hoyts. I'm not asking whether they have Sprite or not. Of course they have Sprite. So what is it? Gin, but soda, water and Sprite? Gin, soda, water, a splash of Sprite, just to sweeten it up a bit. <laughs> and then cucumber. Of course they have Sprite. lemonade. Everywhere has lemonade. <laughs> Everywhere doesn't have lemonade. Every bar that we frequent. Most places have lemonade. Every no, restaurant no and bar has wait, lemonade. Wait, wait, wait. Every bar does, but you just said everywhere has lemonade. No, I mean, obviously they don't have lemonade in some places. At White Lady Funerals. Do they have lemonade? Maybe. I don't they have they a vending would have machine. Lemonade. They would have lemonade. <laughs> Seems like they've got it covered, those ladies. People love lemonade. They should anyway. just call it the ladies, by the way. I think it's a bit racial. <laughs> I mean, it's 2024. Can't we just have ladies? It's sweet because they all. I've, I went to a white lady funeral and, and they all come out in their white outfits and they wave off the the hearse. Like I, I like I'll say, if anyone in my family, no if, if any oh. if any girl dies in my family, it'll be a white lady funeral, sure. But that's that's very narrow. There yeah. will be families where people pass who don't have. Well, white what ladies. are the other big funeral like companies? Who else is like who's killing it in the funeral? Like, Kegs on legs department. <laughs> Because <laughs> there must be some money in it. What? What's your favourite funeral parlour? What? Well, there's like what? loads of them around. I just can't think of any right now. Oh, oh what about what about God. what about where cremate? <laughs> <laughs> G'day, cremate. <laughs> Bring a cremate. Oh, bring a plate and bring a cremate. Oh my god, two for one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> cremate much. your mate and bring a plate. <laughs> oh my god, it's like when we cremated my grandma and then I swallowed her outside Dan Murphy's. Oh, stop. It's exactly like that. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> she, I think we took her to white lady funerals actually coming oh, well, well, she, well, she, she was probably a white lady though. That's oh what I'm saying. That's Muriel. the problem, of course that's the problem I have with it. <laughs> that's the problem I have with it. It's very niche. Oh my god! You know we're very okay. multicultural here right now. We are. Yeah, <laughs> right here. Can't you just have right the ladies? Now. Anyway, I mm. am right here. Right oh, do you, here. Can I just quickly speaking of doing things oh. wrong the whole time? Because I went to the AFL concert the other night, and you know Gil McLaughlin, who was in charge of the AFL for ages. Oh my gosh! I that, think is... that whole that whole spiel, your your football concert spiel, you suggesting oh, that they bring reviews. weapons to the football was they my should be allowed favorite. weapons like like nice those like like pool noodles or like super soakers that would make it fun. The, in but the game. I thought Gil McLaughlin for years was. Jill McLaughlin. And I thought, well, that's wonderful and progressive. Well, that you were doing a woman that, in charge of the AFL. You were doing that wrong the whole time. That, that wasn't right. No. It's Gil. Silly and it was a man. Yeah. My other cocktail that I really like. Yes. Back to the cocktails. Oh, yes. Is a porn star martini. Oh, I, love I very it. much enjoy a porn star martini. Which is but what? A porn star martini oh, what's that is vanilla about? vodka. That's a passion, passion fruit. fruit. Okay. A fresh passion fruit, passion fruit liqueur, vanilla syrup and lime juice and then it's served with a baby shot of Prosecco on the side. Now, I didn't know. I thought the Prosecco was for pouring in once you've had no, a couple I of never, sips and you're like, I didn't know that. I might fill yeah. this up a little bit extra. Woo, mm. Make it a bit stronger. 
It's not. We've been doing it wrong the whole time. What is it for? To throw it the a shot Prosecco of good luck? The shot is supposed <laughs> to be sipped first and it cleanses your palate before you enjoy the cocktail. Prosecco oh. can take a hike, I reckon. It's yeah. so gross and unnecessary. I, don't, I actually don't mind Prosecco every now and then. <laughs> <I'm> just <joking. laughs> So this is Tina Turgeon. Tina Turgeon. Oh, my God. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Driving you home on Nova. Hey there, Delilah, what's <gasps> it like? Any idea the name of this band? I, I love this song when it came out. Is it... Are you making my fun of my T-shirt again? No. Oh, I remember. I think they bought this single even. Plain White Tees. Plain White Tees. I've got two quick t-shirt, t-shirt stories for you. Is it about your purple t-shirt that you've decided to come in and wear yelling at me today? It's oh, lilac. No. It's purple. And it's it's lilac. It's loud. I know. And everybody Mardi Gras was you two months ago, Did buddy. you put on Jennifer Lopez's Let's Get Loud today when you put that t-shirt on? A photographer's been reprimanded by his editor <laughs> for the t-shirt he wore when he was um, papping and photographing Victoria Beckham's 50th birthday. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he arrived at the party. She wasn't papping it. He was meant to be there, with a T-shirt that said, stop making stupid people famous. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Time and a place. And Posh complained, and he's been reprimanded. And that reminds oh, no. me, because funny T-shirts I don't find funny, because mm. no, generally neither. the person wearing them uh, isn't that funny. And it reminded me that I saw a bloke <laughs> at a shopping centre near my house, yeah. a really big guy with, like, a beard and just this the worst look on his face, and his T-shirt said, fun fact, I don't care. Oh, he's funny. He, he doesn't care. Stick it to the man, bro. <laughs> oh, funny. It's like an engineer I worked with once who had a T-shirt that used to say, turn it off, then turn it back on again. <laughs> I like mm, it. Funny. The amount of times I've had to say that. Let's oh, give away a trip to the Gold Coast next. Yes. Okay. I promise. After Cyril, stumbling in. Woo! Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Cyril walked past our office today. Really? Yes. The Cyril. Did not pop in. Did not say hello. Didn't stumble in? No, didn't stumble in. Good stuff, Joel. No, funny you were funny you. off air. <laughs> oh, I was just telling you about my night at Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> I know. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Ricky guys. loves it. I do I it for Ricky. It. We love the Gold Coast. That's what we love. Oh, all right? We all love yes. that. We love it. More Imagine going to the Gold Coast with Gary Barlow. Oh, my god. That gosh. would be loose. That would be loose. I couldn't empty my bath on the Gold Coast. I hope they have managed to empty it. That's where thing? I dropped my phone, remember? You just, you just pulled the plug out. I do remember that. Yeah, you no, I couldn't. Pull the plug I couldn't pull the plug out. because you were sitting on it, Joel. Oh, my big bum. My big booty. <laughs> <laughs> we've been playing Linger Longer this week. And uh, we give you a topic, you linger on it. Now, really, I mean, we've got Laura ready to go. Oh, should I do it? I don't understand oh, how anyone... Topic be Cirque du Soleil. I'm not sure how anyone's going to beat Josephine... From Tuesday, two minutes and ten seconds. Josephine's effort was she, legendary. She had a very good tactic. Now, Josephine, you're standing by because we all think, I mean, you've got you're this in the You're brilliant, Josephine. So, oh, hang tight. God. Hang tight. Don't talk, but hang <laughs> tight. <laughs> uh, we have Laura here. Hello, Laura. Hi, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> we want you to escape the cold because he's getting chilly now. I mean, looking around at those temperatures, Perth's pretty hot today. City's not bad, but everywhere else is a little bit chilly. I know, have and I mentioned I'm jogging home this evening in, in the cold? Escape in the, cold, the cold, that's the best time to, to go running. And linger longer at the Langham on the Gold Coast. Plan your luxury stay at langhamhotels.com and get ready to experience Queensland's coastal beauty. We want you to linger as long as possible, Laura, without umming or ahhing. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. Return flights for two, two nights accommodation at the Langham Gold Coast, which is amazing. Stunning. All of these beautiful meals at all of these amazing restaurants, return transfers and $1,000. I mean, I want this price. Oh, return transfers. That makes yeah. everything so easy. Yeah, so don't much use your easier. Roll out, roll onto the plane. Your what? guy doesn't do Queensland, does he? C- could. Oh, don't say, oh, don't my say Gold no. Coast guy's really good. Don't say it's my lovely. No, well, because I, I want to get in some business. If anyone wants to uh, be driven around by Kurt in Sydney, DM me. <laughs> 13, 24, 10, whatever. Get in touch. I love it. All so right, Laura. Laura just has to linger longer than Josephine did. Yeah. Josephine lingered for two minutes and 10 seconds. Yeah, That's you need to linger huge. for at least two minutes and 11 seconds, obviously. Okay, Laura, are you okay. ready? Um, yeah. Your lingering time starts um, as soon as I tell you the topic that you're lingering on tonight. This afternoon. <laughs> it's dark. I hate saying tonight at 5. And just, oh, and just lean in, Laura. Okay. Lean in and go for it. Your topic today, Laura, is cocktails. I love a really good Negroni. Oh, the yeah, orange flavours are fantastic. And, <laughs> you know, having three types of alcohol 
in a cocktail like that <laughs> than it you every single time. Oh, yes. I also um, live with a lot of uh, orange trees. And oh. so I, during the winter, <laughs> when I get a surplus, I slice them up really fine on the mandarin oh. and I uh, use dehydrator and they definitely go fantastic oh, in the cocktails. Wow. Even did them for my childhood um, childcare educators. Uh, for their Christmas presents this year. Um, oh, also, oh, you set arms. Oh, oh, you set arms. Oh, you set arms. Oh, you set arms. Oh, oh, so, Josephine, it's all yours. Oh, oh I really like Laura, but congratulations, Josephine. Oh, my God. I'm going to have so many cocktails now. Oh, you're the best, Josephine. Congratulations. Enjoy the GC. Well oh my God. done. Oh. Enjoy the GC and enjoy the Langham in the GC, more importantly. Well done. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. That's Good Neighbours. Home here on Nova. Ben Lee Mabel, not too far away. Then Smallsy has some Billy Eilish news for you at 8 o'clock. I love oh, this yes, song. Billie Eilish has been everywhere today. Is that, that about what she loves doing in front of the mirror? Yeah. We were talking about that, remember, the three of us were talking about that the other day off air. Really? The things that you like to do in front of the mirror, or if you do use a mirror or not. Wasn't that us? <laughs> I don't think that was us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was us. It was, it was more black as actually. I've forgotten that conversation. That sounds was... right up my alley. Because well, you're cooked, that's why. <laughs> I pre- I am pretty cooked at the moment. Yeah, at the moment you're a bit loose. I'm a bit loose and a bit cooked. But not in a fun way. Um, no, I'm <laughs> struggling to put a sentence together at the moment. That's okay. That's okay. Between the two of you off air, no, well, yeah, we all know you could talk. Um, off I've air just been, been feeling no, Ricky Lee in on my life. <laughs> insufferable. <laughs> insufferable? <laughs> it's time to do our Covered caller so of the week, <laughs> and let's do it right now. Hello. Can you put me through to the guy? Caller of the week. Short week, but oh my gosh, we've had some big Crackers. calls. And, well, we, we spoke about the lady that fell out of the sky. And we then we asked the question, have you had a bad day? Annabelle called. Because you had a bad day. So my chicken curry this morning that I had for lunch, <laughs> it's all through my back. Oh, no. No lunch and a smelly bag. <laughs> Annabelle, you're our caller of the week. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome, Annabelle. You've won our 10th Caller of the Week mug for 2024. And we'll also send you a $100 Shell Coles Express gift card. Woo! Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel's Week in Review. We started the week talking Spice Girls. Victoria Beckham turned 50. She had a birthday party. All Spice Girls were in attendance. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine the gay gasp I let out when I saw that over the weekend? Incredible. Does it sound like this? <laughs> <laughs> no! So, okay, I'll do a gay gasp for you. Okay. Do mine, do mine, do mine. <clears throat> oh, my God. oh, that was even worse. That's the best. That was the best. I never want to hear that sound again. Dan, do not isolate that. Do not isolate that. Then Joel gave Tim a valuable lesson. I feel like I should follow your broadcast channels, yeah, though, don't I? You don't have to, though, bro. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll explain for us, Ricky. Ricky and I have a thing called fan base. Oh, no, let's not do this. And they have to be service because we love our fans. So one day, maybe, Tim, if you were to release an album or maybe go on a comedy tour, you too would collect fans. And over the years, you would build what's called a fan base. But your broadcast um, channels are up themselves. <laughs> we busted out some M&M in Joel Jiven. Oh. The Marshall Mathers LP. Wait, wait, wait. I wasn't really listening to the song. Uh, All right, over to you, Ricky. Oh. Some Slim Shady is oh. real shady. Oh, you want the Slim Shady? Ah, just so imitating. So what the real Slim Shady? Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. <laughs> oh, that was so obvious. How did I not get that? <laughs> That's the Queef edition. Oh, I grew up. Queef Latifah. Queef Latifah. Everybody what with the dinosaur. Ricky I Vis. love Eminem so Sorry, much. Kate. I mean, he is yep. like a mammoth, amazing yep. Yep. beast of an artist. Okay. Ridiculous. Um, Ricky, Nailed you're it. next here. It's the million copies sold edition. <laughs> oh, we're running out of time. Because, <laughs> hey, um, <laughs> it's a dramatic pause you left before. No, because Joel, I was Joel, Joel, Joel. Stop it. Ask Black, it. What's, what's your take on Eminem? He's just... Stop. You know all the words that I was going to say. The... I mean, <laughs> uh, 
He's <laughs> the man. <laughs> we found one of Rick's icks. Rick's icks. Rick's icks. Let's talk baby talk. Gross. It's a baby voice. You do it though to us sometimes and I like it. <laughs> when you call him Bubba. Oh, oh yeah, when I need my Bubba black. Is see, that's just <laughs> oh, see, a, a human adult talking like that it makes me want to die. Oh, it's just a bit of baby talk, Rick. Well, All right. Why are we talking about baby so talk? So this is a... Uh, this, this baby girl? <laughs> oh, baby Ricky, baby, what are you going to do? Oh, my God. Ricky, my little baby girl. I feel aggressive right now. I can see that. <laughs> it yeah. makes me angry oh, and it makes me want to hurt someone. It's okay, you little cutie. You said cat baby. You said cat baby with your little hips. I'm not sure Ricky will look at you the same, Joel. What kind of Am a gay I... are you? Are you losing your mind? What's going Am on? I'm turning. Maybe. Are you straight? Have you spent so much time on this show that I'm like into you? attracted you? to me? Like I am. Do you want to be with me? I am attracted are to you, you. Are you more into me or Jack? I should probably talk to you more than Jack. <laughs> <laughs> We do spend like, two hours a day together. I know. I don't have to see contractually don't have to talk to Jack, so I don't talk to him at all. <laughs> <laughs> then Joel ran through our ideas of heaven. Yours would be um, a Tommy's Margarita on entry, endless pizzas from the pizza place you like, and um, and an indie band. Ricky, your idea of heaven would be um, win machines like in every like every possible <laughs> corner, yes. um, and just a big golden arches yeah. that's just like dropping big. Mac. Hundred okay. percent. Oh my yours. gosh, I'm yours. salivating. What's mine? This is your idea of heaven. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pretty sure our idea of heaven is more baby talk. I'll have just done a biggie wiggy show, so you want oh, to come and you know, you know, you know, come and give me a little kiss on the forehead and say I did a good job. We get real proud of you up there on that, yeah, on that I know. big stage. I know, big baby boy up on stage in front of all those people with those big lights. Don't say little boom show. Baby Go boy see my little show, please. Tickets from LifeNation.com.au. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Finally, things got heated during food chat. A sesame soy chicken? Like a karage chicken. It's not <laughs> karage chicken at all. You get so angry when we talk about food. Because I'm really fucking about food. I just spat on you. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, in Ricky's, your eye. I just DNA projectile spat in, my oh in my your God. eye. Try singing. You might have a beautiful <laughs> voice all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Let me try and, try and sing. Oh, no. Can you spit in my eye sometime, Ricky? <laughs> oh, sorry, that wasn't spit. <laughs> <laughs> what a week on the Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel Show. Okay, gross. Um, have a lovely so weekend. Gross. We'll see you Monday. First class of 50K giving it away and Scissor playing another show <gasps> in Sydney tonight, then three in Melbourne from Monday. Huge. So we finish with some Scissor. Definitely. Is that okay? Turn it up. Don't let's, spit in my eye. Every, come on, everybody, let's Scissor! Let's talk about love. Is it?